All right, hey YouTube, it's Everything for iPod here. I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play games in Terminal on a Mac. Terminal is an application that lets you run codes on your computer. We're going to be using it to enter some codes and play some games today. Um, we do have some other tutorials on how to use Terminal, and we plan on making more, so go check them out. Uh, Terminal seems pretty basic, but you can do some pretty advanced stuff in it. First, you're going to start off by opening the terminal application. And the terminal is going to look like this. It is somewhat customizable if you go into the preferences of it. I'm not going to show you how to do that. But basically, it'll look something like this. Um, the first code you're going to type in is in the description, but I'm going to show you how to do it also. So you can look at what it says in the description. Um, what you're going to type is ls space slash usr slash slash sorry share slash emacs slash 22.1 slash lisp slash play okay that will be in the description once you have that typed in you're going to hit enter and you're going to get this whole bunch of names. All these names are the names of the games that you can play in Terminal. So, yeah. Each one you'll see is listed twice, and one of them is .el.gz, and one is .elc. Those really don't matter. All you need to know is the name of the game you want to play before the um, ending. So, there are a lot of games here. Let's say we want to play, and like, for example, Pong, I believe, is two players, so you can do whatever. Um, what you're going to do is shell, new window, so you can just, like, open up a new window and have side-by-side -side of, like, what the name of the games are and where you want to, and where you're actually going to play it. So the first thing you're going to type in in your new window is Emacs. Okay, press enter you're going to get this. Now you're going to press escape on your keyboard and you're going to get this window. Now you're going to press the X key and you'll see the cursor move down to the bottom of the window right here. Now you're going to, this is where you're going to type in the name of the game you want. I said I wanted to play snake so I'm just going to type in snake without the ending. When I'm ready to play you're going to hit enter but be aware that the game is going to start immediately. So press enter. And here's the game. You use the arrow keys. Snake is a pretty fun game. You just have to like try to get a high score and collect all of these red dots that you leave behind you as you go along and play. So it is pretty fun and then when you die it just quits out and you can actually just um, do a, if you want to start over, you can actually just do new command or command shift n and type in emacs again and it'll get you right back up where you can play again. Here's Tetris and you can just play. So this is a pretty cool trick. I really like doing it. It's really fun. Keeps you occupied, I guess, if you're like really bored. So yeah. Um, so that is it guys. Check out our other videos. Comment and subscribe. Again, all of the um, codes will be in the description that you have to enter to be able to play the games. But that's it guys. See you later.